Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a weekend read for all signs. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take a second and give it a thumbs up. All right, so let's get into the readings. I have pre-shuffled because, you know, that takes up a lot of time for the video. And I have already taken the liberty of going ahead and shuffling for each sign. We will go in order of the zodiac. The first reading is going to be for you, Aries. Let's see what you have going on for this weekend. Okay, Aries, so you have Unplug, Cupid's Arrow, Butterflies, Reconciliation, Take Action. We have the Ten of Cups, we have Death in Reverse, and we have the Ace of Swords in Reverse. So this weekend, it looks like you guys are going to be chilling out. You may be taking some time off from work this weekend in order to spend more time with your loved one here you have Cupid's arrow. This is about having faith, knowing that love is coming. And for some of you, you're going to be getting a surprise invitation this weekend. Or you're going to be meeting someone that you weren't expecting to meet. You could be taking time off and traveling. You can meet someone on a trip this weekend. And it looks like whoever this person is, you're going to enjoy them. They're going to give you butterflies. You're going to have that, that teenage love going on this weekend says, enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss of new or old love. So for some of you, you could have an ex reaching out to you as well this weekend. But I do feel um, that whoever this person is, you're going to have a lot of love for this person. We have reconciliation. Again, this sounds like an ex is coming in for some of you. And you're going to have to take action this weekend. You're going to have to take action. So... It looks like you guys have the Ten of Cups, Death in Reverse, and the Ace of Swords. So this looks like a decision is going to have to be made on a past relationship. It's a relationship that, you know, there was a lot of happiness there. You have a lot of love. You guys have accumulated Ten Cups with each other. You have a lot of love for this person, and this is coming up in your past position. But it looks like you have unfinished business, Aries. You have unfinished business with this person. And the sword is down right now. The decision has not been made. You will be making a decision on an X this weekend. All right. Moving right along. Next up is Taurus. Taurus, I think you're going to be drinking this weekend. Your card don't want to stand up. <laughs> it keeps falling down. Why? Oh my goodness. You have the moon in reverse, the page of wands, the seven of cups, new love, soulmates, children, Passion, trust. All right, Taurus. So it looks like you are either you're going to be meeting someone new this weekend. This person may have children. That may be something that you may have to deal with. But I see a lot of passion and attraction with this person. For those of you who um, are kind of in a stale period in a relationship. I see you guys uh, recommitting here. I see you guys coming together, trying to work things out again. You may have children with this person, but I do see um, some positive energy is here. I do see some uncertainty with where things will go with the moon being here in reverse. But we will go in and clarify this moon energy because that can that could just be a list of things, guys. 
This page of wands, though, that's you getting passionate, you getting excited, you taking action on something, and you having multiple choices here in love. I feel like right now, Taurus, you have a lot of people who are checking for you. You have a lot of people who are checking for you, and you're trying to figure out who you want to be with. I think the moon is here because you don't know who you want to be with. You may be dating a lot of people here, and you may not be telling them about each other. You know, you may be keeping that to yourself. But for some of you, one of these choices is a soulmate. Why is the moon here for Taurus for this weekend? Why is the moon here in reverse? Two of Cups. Uncertainty about a soulmate connection. That's, I knew that's why that was here. The Sun in reverse. You're not so sure, right? This is uncertainty. This is you having a negative outlook on how everything will go. But when the Sun shows up in your reading, guys, it's never a bad thing, whether it's in reverse or it's in the upright. Usually when it's in the reverse, it's because of your attitude. This is about you not being sure that someone that you are feeling very passionate about with this King of Wands on the bottom of the deck is the person that you should pursue here. I will say we have a lot of fire sign energy here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius twice. We have Leo here, Cancer, and you have um, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, the world. So a lot of you um, also could be dating on the internet. I see you manifesting new love here, but you're just not sure. But I think that this is going to come as a surprise to you guys. I don't see you think that you, um, I don't think that you knew that you would feel this way about this person. I would like to go in and also clarify the Seven of Cups. And Taurus, I did say you would be drinking this weekend. That card wouldn't stand up. And I do have these seven of cups here. I think some of you will be getting drunk this weekend and possibly acting up. <laughs> possibly acting up. Magician. That's you manifesting love. And you have, and it, it's work, guys. The world is here. It has worked. Whoever you are seeing right now, one of those individuals is a person that you will most likely marry here. But you're going to have to make a decision on which one it is that's going to get your love here. And we have the Eight of Swords. Again, I think that you are kind of hiding this. I think you're hiding this. I don't think you're really, you know, one way or the other being very committed to anyone in particular. I think you're kind of playing the field, but it's someone that you're going to want to attach to. You're not going to be able to let them go, and you are going to offer them a stable commitment, but I do see you taking your time. I do see you taking your time. For some of you, you're traveling this weekend with this world card coming up. You could meet someone on this trip. With this page of wands being here, you could hook up two guys. You could be having sex here. But Spirit is asking you to trust. They're asking you to have trust here. All right, next up is Gemini. Gemini, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So already, Gemini, you're going to be spending your weekend thinking and contemplating. Three of Swords, Abundance, Death, Phoenix, Very Soon, 
Stay optimistic about your love life. And the situation will improve. Okay, Gemini. So it looks like you guys are wanting something to work out here. This is something that I feel like you have been dealing with for a while. I do see you possibly um, thinking about ending a relationship here. I see you wanting to move towards something um, new. Spirit is asking you to be clear about what you want because within the blink of an eye, it could be yours, Gemini. I think Spirit is asking you to make up your mind here and I think that's what you will be doing this weekend. Gemini, I will be honest, I do see a little bit of sadness this weekend. I see you not being happy with the way that your love life is currently. Spirit is also saying stay optimistic about your love life. Remember to have positive thoughts. And that will help bring the person in towards you with the seven of wands energy. You could be having some arguments this weekend, defending your position on things, or, you know, just trying to make a point here. I see you questioning and investing in this person. This person is bringing you some amount of sadness, some amount of grief here, but the situation will improve. All right, Gemini, let's go in and find out about this sadness. Tell me about the three of swords. For Gemini. Why is it here? Gemini, there's no need to be sad because I can already tell by the energy that's here, you're getting ready to meet somebody new and it's getting ready to be the bomb. You have abundance. The five of swords in reverse. This sadness is because whoever you've been dealing with, they haven't had your best intentions at heart, okay? They may have been sneaking around, doing things behind your back. They're not doing you right with this justice in reverse. Ten of cups. But man, do you love this person. This is someone that you thought that you could see yourself with for the long term. But now you're finding yourself in the position to have to walk away from this person because they're not acting right. Tell me about the seven of wands in reverse. For Gemini. Tell me about the seven of wands. Knight of wands in reverse. So Gemini, you could have someone around you who isn't dependable. This person could be in and out. This person could have a very high sex drive. You have judgment. I see you making a decision about this person. Page of cups in reverse. I feel like you have taken just about all that you can take of this person. I think that you have waited to see if this person would step up here, Gemini, and they aren't stepping up. So I see you not wanting to invest and I see you possibly cutting someone off or you will be thinking about cutting someone off this weekend with these sevens showing up in your reading. And I don't think this person <laughs> is going to know anything about it, Gemini. I think you're keeping that to yourself. You may not even call and announce it to this person. You just may end up, you know, not even reaching out to them anymore and hoping they figure it out. All right, next up is Cancer. Cancer, you have the Queen of Cups. The Six of Swords, the Two of Wands in reverse. So it looks like you're going to be doing much of what Gemini has been doing this weekend. You have Interference here and now, Mask, Have Faith, Express Your Love. I'm going to actually pull these down here. And you have abundance. Okay, Cancer. So it looks like you have an external party that is intruding on your relationship. This could be a person. This could be a job. This could just be disagreements in general. But there's something keeping you from um, having a successful relationship right now. With this here and now card, this talks about that your true love is already a part of your life. Especially with this Queen of Cups, you already feel like you found your person. But there's something going on with this mask card, guys. 
This can either indicate that someone is hiding their true feelings about you. They're not being honest about how they truly feel about you, whether that is good or bad. Maybe they have a lot of love for you and they haven't confessed that yet. Maybe they don't really like you all that much and they haven't told you the truth. This can also be um, when the mask card comes out, guys, someone who is gaslighting you or, you know, trying to convince you to be with them, but they're only pretending or trying to trick you, kind of narcissist energy. But there's something going on around you, uh, Gemini, that you can't trust. I do see you stuck in indecision with this two of wands. You're trying to decide whether to move on with someone. And it looks like you really want to move forward in peace. You want to move forward in peace with this person. I have expressed your love. So I think that you are trying to figure out, you know, something special to do for this person this weekend. Spirit is encouraging you to go ahead and make that romantic gesture that you were thinking about because it will be a success here. Have faith. Trust and believe that love is here to stay this time around. Don't let fear or doubt interfere. Trust the divine. So you may have left this person before and you may be trying to make a decision, you know, whether to go back down that same road again. It's given us the devil. So you could have codependent um, tendencies with this person. You guys may separate and get back together, separate and get back together. All right, spirit, cancer. Why is the Six of Swords here for Cancer? High Priestess in reverse. Something is hidden, guys. Something is hidden. Secrets. Someone could be making a fool of you. And you may intuitively know it with this Queen of Cups being here. You may feel it already, especially with this High Priestess. The devil came back out, but it came out in a reverse. Okay. And we have the six of wands in reverse. All right. So what I'm seeing, guys, there is something going on here. I don't know if this is past energy, if this has already occurred, but basically this weekend, it looks like you're going to be making a decision on whether you want to risk it with this person with this full energy. Do I risk it or do I detach? Is this going to pay off for me? Because I really love them. Your energy has come out twice here, Cancer, with this Queen of Cups. You have a lot of love for this person, but I just saw the Five of Cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So that could indicate that you're trying to move on, trying to move on, trying to forgive, trying to reconcile here. One more. Ace of Pentacles, do I accept their offer of commitment? It, can I count on it? Is it stable? This it's possible this person cheated on you here with this devil, and you're wondering, can I trust them? I feel like you found out some information. You found out some information that was being hidden from you, Cancer, and you're not so sure about how to proceed. Why is this two of wands here in reverse for Cancer? Eight of Pentacles. That's what you're going to be doing and working on this weekend. You're going to be trying to get more information. You're going to be trying to, you know, figure out how you're feeling about this person. Really get into the core. Really get into the core of how you feel. Five of Cups. But I see you guys leaning towards the reconciliation. One more for this two of wands. One more for this two of wands for cancer, please. King of wands. You're going to be busy, busy, busy this weekend, cancer. You could also have to work this weekend. But even in the midst of all that, you're going to be reviewing and thinking about your relationship. You could also be trying to make amends here. Like I said, with this express your love. Maybe you are working on planning some type of date. Or, you know, some, some get-together here. Ten of Swords. Avoiding an ending. Unable to move on. But being betrayed. That's what I see here for you, Cancer. The person is a little shifty. The person is a little shifty.
Okay, next up is Leo. All right, Leo, you have the Four of Wands. You have the Four of Swords. So Leo is stuck. You have the Six of Cups in reverse. You're stuck and you're unhappy. We have Lesson, Hammer, Self-Love, Trust. And big happy changes, Leo. All right, Leo. So this is a time of rest for you, Leo. You have been um, through a breakup here. There's a breakup. There's someone that you were dealing with, Leo, that, you know, you can see yourself marrying this person. You can see yourself living with this person in a relationship, in a balanced relationship. And something happened here. Someone sabotaged the connection with this hammer card coming out. And someone's wanting to rebuild here. Either that's you or your person is wanting to rebuild here. But I have the lesson card, y'all. This person was in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. It may not mean that you guys are meant to be together. Spirit is saying that this weekend you need to focus on yourself. Because once you learn how to love who you are, you can become more confident in your relationships moving forward, guys. But I don't see a lot of happiness for you this weekend, Leo. I do see you possibly spending time with family and friends here. Spirit is saying rest. Just relax. You know, do some thinking, some soul searching. Work on your healing so that you can become unstuck. And trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. All right, Leo. Let's find out about this four swords for Leo. Seven of Cups. Six of Cups in reverse. All right, Leo. So what I'm seeing is there's some confusion. You could be lying to yourself. Like, even though you see this person as someone that you could marry, there was something wrong in a the relationship. There was something going on in a relationship that you're not acknowledging it could be something that you were doing in the relationship or it could be something that your person was doing in a relationship and i'm also seeing here leo maybe you weren't seeing what you thought you were seeing you know maybe you made a wrong assessment here let's find out a little bit more about this four of swords ace of swords i think this is about you not being clear leo I think you may have sabotaged this relationship, Leo. You may have felt like your person was seeing other people here. Queen of Wands. But guess what? It's not in the reverse. They're telling me your person was not seeing anyone else. You were mistaken, Leo. You may have felt like this person betrayed you or stabbed you in the back. But the truth of the matter is they didn't. It was all in your head, Leo. It was all in your head. It was all in your head. You were happy, but you caused this relationship not to move forward, Leo. I hate to tell you that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you were confused, Leo. Tell me about this Six of Cups in reverse for Leo. The Hierophant in reverse. The Eight of Cups. You walked away from a stable commitment here, Leo. You walked away from a stable commitment. And I think that that's the reason this is here is because you are stuck and you are still thinking about this person. You're still wanting to be with this person. Nine of Swords, there's the stress. You're going to be stressed out this weekend. Still trying to heal from this relationship, Leo. But you have big happy changes here, Leo. Please stay positive and trust that this situation will happen you know, what needs to happen will happen in this situation. But right now, your focus needs to be on yourself this weekend and your healing. You have self-love, the nine of swords, and the four of swords, as, as well as the hammer. This is about rebuilding yourself and healing. All right, next up is Virgo.
Okay, Virgo, you have the temperance in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse. A Page of Pentacles. Past Life Love. The Snake. Love at First Sight. Courting. Romantic Feelings. And we have Choose a New Direction. Okay, so Virgo, looks like this weekend someone's going to be making an offer to you that you cannot trust. Okay, they're coming in with this page of pentacles, but I have snake. You need to be looking over your shoulder, okay? If this is someone new, you're going to really enjoy this person. You're going to kind of feel like, I'm not going to say um, that you actually fall in love, but you could probably see yourself falling in love with this person and you're going to want to date this person but I'm not quite sure that you can trust this person. I think eventually you guys will have arguments that you can't get past and you won't be able to heal this. For others of you, this is an ex reaching out. And this is an ex that, you know, you may have fell in love with them the first time you met them. And you guys probably dated, but something happened here. Whether that was, this is your energy or theirs, something happened. Someone may have cheated. Someone, you know, may have done something really dirty here, but I see that you guys couldn't get past that. But it looks like this person is going to resurface. They still have feelings for you here, Virgo. And Spirit is guiding you to take another direction. The only thing I want to clarify here for you, Virgo, is this page of pentacles. Let's find out why this person is coming in here with this small offer of commitment. Okay, could they not have shown up as the king? Oh, wow. Tell us about this page of pentacles. We have the five of wands. Be careful, Virgo. Low key, this person, um, you know, they're going to come in again and try to make amends. They're going to say, you know, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want any more disagreements. Ten of swords, because they haven't been able to move on from this ending. But I'm going to tell you, low-key, you can't trust this person. Knight of Wands, they're not going to be dependable this time. They weren't dependable last time. They have not grown up yet. They are presenting as the Page and the Knight, guys. The world in reverse. This is not going to be a successful um, relationship. This is not going to, you're not going to be able to finish what you start here with this person. But they are reaching out this weekend. Eight of Wands, I do see you guys not forgiving them with the star in reverse. And Temperance is here. And I have Temperance here in the uh, reverse. And I have Temperance here in the upright. Nine of Cups. Yeah. Two of Cups. So I'm seeing the reason that this this uh, temperance is here is because this person chose to do things that, you know, made themselves happy. They weren't really taking into account your emotions in the relationship. And they may have done something here like cheating, but something unforgivable. And you had to walk away here. I feel like you tried to work things out, but ultimately it's over for them. It's over for them. It's possible that you have been interacting with the Gemini. I also have water sign energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Sagittarius and Aquarius as well. Those are the signs that are standing out to me. Heavy Sagittarius energy. Spirit is saying, mm-mm, you need to think again, Virgo. Choose a new direction. All right, next up is Libra. Libra, you have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Wands. The Four of Cups in reverse. Friendship date telepathy getting to know each other this gonna be an easy one libra playfulness and ask your angels 
All right, Libra. So you have been manifesting new love into your life and it's here. I see you going on a date this weekend, possibly with a friend, possibly with someone that you work with here. It looks like you have been stressing um, about asking this person out, but it looks like you have finally made a decision to do that because you feel like I might miss out on this person. This could be someone, you know, who has a lot of people who are interested in them. And it looks like you are making your move or you have made your move this weekend. I feel like this is someone that you do have a very strong connection with. This telepathy card coming up. Um, but I see you getting to know someone this weekend. I see you guys having a good time over drinks at dinner. I see you guys making a lot of jokes with each other, playing with each other in a playful manner, you know, where you can kind of joke around, but no one's feelings is hurt. I see a lighthearted energy and banter between you guys. But this is what you have manifested here. But it looks like you have, you may have to work this weekend as well. So you may be trying to figure out how to make this work. Like, you know, how are you gonna balance work and uh, this date that you have with this person? Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Libra. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Four of Cups again. No, you've been stressing out about this person choosing you. You've been stressing out about whether or not this person is going to accept your... Um, ooh, ooh. Accept your invitation for a date. Tell me about this Ten of Wands for Libra. I have the world in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh-oh, Libra. So this is somebody that you've been watching for a minute. With friendship being out here, this could be a friend that you're finally confessing your feelings to or, you know, asking out on a date. But you're very clear in regards to what you want from this person. And I feel like you want a long-term commitment with this person. But you're afraid that this person is not going to, again, accept your, your, your date. But I see them accepting your date, Libra. I see them accepting your date. And I see you guys having a great time. Tell me about this Four of Cups in reverse. I also think, Libra, you have been doing a lot of working lately. You haven't really had time to have fun. And I think this weekend, you're like, I'm going to let loose. Why is the four of cups here for Libra? We have judgment. Again, it flipped, guys. So that's you, again, thinking this person is going to reject you. Queen of Pentacles could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that you have your eyes on here. Knight of Wands. Emperor, look at you. Nine of Cups. You may have asked this person to go out before. They may have turned you down. So that could be why you're so afraid or why you're so stressed out here about um, asking this person out here. Two of Swords in Reverse. Seven of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands in Reverse, and Strength in Reverse. This is self-confidence issues. This is you trying to be strategic about how you actually ask this person out on a date. This is you trying to be strategic about how you ask this person out. But with that Emperor showing up, guys... That lets me know, Libra, that you are serious about this person, okay? You think very highly of this person. You think they're very stable. They're a hard worker. And again, you guys were friends first. But I see you wanting to be there for this person. And I see you wanting to provide for them in some way. I also see you taking the lead here. So this could be you making the first move. Making the first move. All right, next up. Scorpio, Scorpio, you have the Three of Cups in reverse. You have the King of Wands. And you have Judgment in reverse. Okay, you guys could be um, in connection with a Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Obsession. 
Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Ooh, we have a narcissist here, the golden mirror card. This could be a one-sided relationship where your person is a narcissist and they are self-absorbed, possibly love bombing you, telling you that you're the, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. But then you end up finding out that this person was merely only concerned with themselves. There may be a lot of accusations flying in the relationship. We have playfulness. This person could be very immature. We have keep an open mind. And we have it's up to you. All right. So it looks like over the weekend, you're going to be making a decision on whether to reconcile here with this three of cups in reverse. It doesn't look very likely that you will. This king of wands being here, this could be your person's energy. I don't think this is your energy, Scorpio. I think this is your person's energy wanting to control the situation, wanting to be in control, wanting to be the leader. Um, I think this person is also very jealous. The king of wands, whenever he's in his lowest energy, he can be a little bit jealous. And especially with this obsession card coming out, guys, I don't think this is your energy. I don't think that you're even interested in getting back with this person. All right, tell me about this three of cups for Scorpio. So that's what you're going to be doing this weekend. You're going to be having to make a decision on whether or not to reconcile with this person. Why is the Three of Cups here for Scorpio? We have the Two of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. All right, it's going to be an easy decision for you. This person stresses you the hell out, and you are not going to, like, stay. You are totally letting this person go here. Totally letting this person go. I don't see you, again, having faith in this. I have judgment in the reverse twice. Spirit is yelling, no. This is not a good decision. I feel like Scorpio, you can do better all by yourself. You don't need this person. But this person idolizes you just because of who you are. You're a very stable person. You have your shit together. And this person is trying to steal your energy. What I see for you this weekend, Scorpio, is you are not going to be even thinking about this person. They can come in. They can say whatever they want to say. You're moving on with your life. You're going to be hanging out with your family, your friends this weekend, drinking, having a good time. You are not thinking about this person. And hell no, we're not getting together. We're not getting back together. So please leave me alone. I see you ghosting this person. <laughs> Again, spending time with family this weekend. Having fun. Strong energy, Scorpio, of you not wanting this person. I don't even see a flip-flop in your energy. It, you are totally and utterly done with this person. All right, next up is Sag. All right, Sag, you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands and a Tower Moment in Reverse. We have Addiction, Different Pages, Healing Heart, New Chapter, Ready for Love, Engagement, and Opportunity. Okay, so Sag, you are going through some changes here. You have a tower moment here and it's in the reverse. So that can indicate that either things were really bad in your relationship, maybe in a past relationship that you had, you know, like the fit hit the shan per se. And it looks like you have something new here. You have new energy. I see you talking to someone new. I see you trying to build a friendship here. I see you starting over. After a period of not dating, it looks like you are ready to get back out there. You've been guarded, but that's understandable. You've been scared because you don't want to get hurt again. But you know what? You took your time to heal. Now you're ready to go out and try again. Thank you for confirmation, Spirit. You are ready to try again. I do see you 
um, moving a relationship to the next level. So that could be going on this weekend. You could be asking someone to be exclusive. You could be asking someone to marry you this weekend. I do see you doing a lot of, um, taking a lot of action this weekend. Let's go in and clarify this Eight of Wands for Sag. I think that you were in a codependent relationship and you guys just couldn't get on the same page. You couldn't get on the same page. You guys kept getting into arguments, kept get, having disagreements. Why is this Eight of Wands here for Sag? We do have Earth sign energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And Sag, your energy is here with this Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Sag? Wheel of Fortune, the energy shifting for you guys. Again, if you've been in a, you know, a time of solitude and singleness, this wheel is ushering in good luck towards you. It's bringing in a new cycle Whereas you have been stuck, you know, something had to end in order for a new beginning here. And I do feel like here's this Knight of Pentacles again. You guys have met someone. You're thinking about someone. And it looks like you can't get this person out of your head. I just saw the Eight of Swords. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Eights represent movement, guys. Three of Cups. You've been spending a lot of time alone. Staying away from friends, not going out. But that's changing here in the energy of this Eight of Wands. I see you coming together and going out this weekend. Here's the Tower again in reverse. Changing your pattern here. The other um, energy of the tower in reverse, you guys, is avoiding a complete shit show, okay? Avoiding a complete shit show. Maybe you ended your last relationship in time to avoid all the drama. I have the seven of wands in reverse and the queen of swords. So I think, again, this is about you moving on, but your walls are up. And again, like we said, understandably so. Tell me about this tower in reverse. Tell me about this tower. Okay, what it keeps showing me is the fact that you are starting this new relationship with someone, it's going to be hard because I feel like you had a lot of rejection in your past. You had a lot of rejection where you felt like, you know, people were breadcrumbing you or some people abandoning you. They didn't have your best intentions at heart here. And you may have some trust issues that you need to heal from. You may have some trust issues that you need to heal from before you move on here. Make sure that you're fully healed. That's why Healing Heart came out, guys. That's why Healing Heart came out. Make sure that you um, deal with all those issues because you don't want later there to be like, you know, an ending to a beautiful relationship here, the opportunity for a beautiful relationship because you didn't handle your healing, because you didn't do what you needed to do to make sure that you were in a good place Okay, Sag. Next up, we have Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, you have the Eight of Coins. You have the Hangman. You have the Hermit. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I, wasn't <clears throat> I wasn't laughing. I was trying to cough, guys. Sorry. We have Marriage. We have ship, higher self, calling in your soulmate, and we have improving health. All right, Capricorn. So what this looks like to me, you're working on a relationship that has grown stale here. You're working on a relationship where you have one foot in the door, one foot out of the door. But you are trying to take your time because you want to make sure that you're not making a mistake here. You feel like this person is your soulmate or you have been asking for your soulmate. 
and you're trying to make sure that you take a pause before you, you know, end it, before you move on here. You want, there's things that you need in this relationship, okay? And I don't feel like your person is giving that to you. And you are thinking about moving on, but I see things getting better here. I see things getting better. I think you're going to have a great weekend with this person. I do see you guys coming out of this hermit energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces, a Virgo, or a... Um, and we have Virgo twice. So we have Capricorn. I'm sorry. Pisces, Virgo. Let's see what you're working on. Tell me about this Eight of Coins for Capricorn. Why is the Eight of Coins here for Capricorn for this weekend, Spirit? Well, I just see you kind of chilling this weekend, Capricorn. You could be traveling as well with the ship card being here. like with this hermit being here and this higher self card you're being guided to make a move here one way or the other so this is going to be about you listening to your intuition i have the seven of wands your guard is up you're trying to protect your heart queen of pentacles capricorn taurus or virgo this could be your energy or your person's energy why is the eight of coins here you're going to be working on stabilizing your commitment, but you're almost at your wit's end with the seven of wands. Like I said, you're almost at your wit's end. I feel like you may have to defend yourself a lot of the times. There's just, you know, a lot coming at you. Your person is ooh, always coming at you. I have the page of cups. That could be an apology. You could have done something wrong here. You could be working on an apology. You could also be wanting to ask this person out on a date. Why is the eight of coins here for Capricorn? Knight of swords in reverse. You could be trying to surprise this person. Maybe you're going to be getting a plan together here, guys. Getting a plan together here. But most of all, becoming unstuck. That's the most important thing that I'm seeing here. Actually doing something about it. Doing something about the fact that you're not happy with the way things have been going. That's what you're going to be working on this weekend. Nine of Wands in reverse. Setting boundaries. Setting boundaries where you have failed to set boundaries. Ace of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So you could be having a conversation with your person this weekend. And again, you're trying to have a conversation before you end things, before you walk out the door. Because the truth of the matter is, you love this person like hell. You love this person. This person, you're very much attracted to them. This is a caring individual. People look up to this person. You know, this is someone that you see as your wish fulfillment. And you don't want to miss a shot with them. So you're trying to do the right thing here and you're trying to do it in the right order. I do see you guys spending time together. I see you guys spending time together this weekend and possibly with family. For some of you is working on a marriage and for others of you it's your relationship. All right, next up is Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, you have the star starting off with your energy. Wow, that's your card, Aquarius. Nine of coins in reverse. Lovers in reverse. So already, Aquarius, you feel like you're working too hard in this relationship. You're working too hard. We have retreat. There it is. You're like, I need a break. You guys, again, could also be traveling this weekend. We have love coming out. Magnetic souls. Harvest. 
You have give your relationship a chance and recovery. All right, Aquarius. So what it looks like to me is you're trying to have hope here with this star card. You're trying to have faith. Your person is your wish fulfillment as well, but you feel like you're working too hard in this relationship and things aren't quite going the way that you want them to. Okay, you're putting in an investment here and you're not getting your money's worth. You're not getting your money's worth with this person. I feel like there's some type of disagreements going on. You guys, there's a disharmony between the two of you and you just kind of need a break here. You need some time to, to be alone so that you can think things through. And it gave us the Nine of Pentacles again. I was clarifying the Nine of Pentacles and it gave us the Nine of Pentacles. So what it's telling me is you are working too hard. You're working too hard here. But Spirit is asking you to give your relationship a chance. They're saying that you, there is going to be an opportunity to recover here because you will be able to um, see your harvest be fruitful here. It says you planted the seed that the universe gave you due to your patience and growth. You are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. So this is a wish fulfillment situation. This is a soulmate especially with this lover's card being here and we're getting the ten of pentacles long-term love building generational wealth together having a family together whatever family may mean for you i just saw the nine of wands but there's a need to set boundaries here with this person you need to set boundaries so you don't always feel like you want to run away from this person right you need to speak your truth i think i just saw the Ace of Swords. All right, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Aquarius, you may be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone that you admire, someone that is a hard worker. This is someone who knows what they want and they go after it. There's that Ace of Swords. You guys have been through a lot of hard times, but I feel like this person is honest with you. I think that this person is honest with you. So you need to really, you know, question your motives for wanting to leave here. You know, what are the motives for you wanting to leave? Why are you unhappy? It's giving us the nine of cups. Are you wanting to be single? These nines represent single energy. Magician. Are you doing everything that you can in order to, to fix the relationship or to fix what's out of harmony here? Are you doing everything that you can? I see a lot of internal conflict in regards to that. Tell me about this lovers in reverse for Aquarius. Nine of Swords. That's recovery, guys. So it looks like you may be just taking a break, Aquarius, from your person this weekend so that, you know, you can, um, <laughs> so you can get back to loving on them. Right now, they're getting on your nerves so bad. You're like, oh, Lord, I think I'm changing my mind here. <laughs> I might have to retract my offer of commitment, okay? I might have to take it back. This person's getting on your nerves. I don't know why you guys aren't getting along, but it just looks like you guys need to take a break from each other this weekend. We have the hermit on the bottom of the deck, but you will get through this rut. You will get through this rut, Aquarius. So we do have Sagittarius energy. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, um, Virgo. I had a blank there, guys. Leo, then we have Virgo and Gemini as well, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we also have Virgo on the bottom of the deck. Okay, next up is Pisces. All right, Pisces, you have the Page of Swords in reverse. 
the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Five of Swords. Ooh, we Pisces, you're supposed to be a cup. The cups, you're supposed to be the cup suit, love. And all I see here is thinking and arguments, disagreements and lies. Let's see what's going on here. Second chance. Old school, needing to change the way that you think or replaying certain events over and over in your head. You have explore, calling in your soulmate, and we have forgiveness. All right, Pisces, so it looks like you feel like you're with your soulmate as well. You feel like you're with your soulmate, guys, and just because you guys feel like you're with your soulmate doesn't make it so, but you feel like you're with your soulmate and in the very least, you've been wanting to meet your soulmate or wanting to connect with a soulmate here. I feel like you're dealing with someone who is telling you lies. I have air sign energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And it looks like you guys are having a lot of fights and a lot of arguments. And this person is being mean. This person is saying a lot of mean things. They're not taking your feelings into account at all. And you guys are probably going back and forth. Um, with each other, you know, meeting fire with fire. But it looks like you're wanting to give it a second chance this weekend. You're going to be thinking about a lot of the arguments that you guys have had. You're going to be thinking about a lot of things that your person has said here. I have explore, take a ride and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts. You guys could be getting together to travel this weekend, or you could be getting together to have a discussion, to have a talk here to have a talk. Looks like someone did something that, you know, needs to be forgiven here. And I think that you guys are going to have a conversation about that this weekend. Tell me about this page of swords in reverse for Pisces. Four of wands in reverse. Home life is out of order. The relationship is unbalanced. Again, this, I feel like this person lies to you, but I feel like you can't let this person go. And I think because I'm going to be honest, Pisces, what I'm hearing, what I just heard was because that's what you've been taught. You've been taught that you don't just walk away. Page of Pentacles. So you are willing to continue to put in the work in this relationship. can't let go for a pentacles you can't let this person go tell me about this queen of swords no matter how ugly they are to you queen of swords in reverse what do you need to know the emperor in reverse this person has a problem okay they have a smart ass mouth they're manipulative they are controlling they're not a good example they're not a good leader you know this is someone who is, who is could be trying to control you Any two times I get this Emperor card with this Five of Swords, it is for sure a narcissist, especially with this Queen or if the King of um, Swords comes out in the reverse. You are possibly dealing with the narcissist. Two of Cups in reverse. You feel like it's your soulmate, but you're disconnected right now. Page of Cups in reverse. You could be expecting an apology, but this person isn't apologizing. They're not bringing in this apology because they, you know, narcissists don't apologize. People who feel like they're right and are only concerned with their own feelings and how they feel and, you know, what happens to them. They don't care about how you feel, so they're not going to apologize. Four of Swords, this is not taking responsibility for their actions. And I see you thinking twice about this relationship and you're stressed out about it. Tell me about this Five of Swords. You, you are arguing just as much as they're arguing. You're trying to control yourself, but I do feel like you're trying to pick your fights. Mm-hmm. You're trying to pick your fights. But you're in denial. This Two of Swords in reverse. You guys have possibly, you know, turned your back on each other at this time. You could be in a, a temporary separation, not talking. Eight of Wands 
You could be at a standstill. But I just see you doing some resting this, this weekend, Pisces. I see you resting and just trying to figure out, you know, what your next moves are in this relationship. Whether to stay connected with this person or whether you want change here and you want to move on with the energy of this Eight of Cups in reverse. You could be having more arguments with this person this weekend. There is the Five of Wands. Give me one more for this Five of Swords. Yeah, I see arguments this weekend. I see a lot of low periods for you this weekend, Pisces. So now that you know the energy that's here, you can do everything in your power to control that. You can change the narrative, okay? I do see you spending time with family or there is an opportunity for you to spend time with family. If it comes, take it, okay? Because if you don't, and you stay at home alone and you stay, you know, if you keep thinking about what's going on in your relationship, you're just going to be depressed here. And who wants to sit in that depressed energy? You don't want that low vibrational energy around you guys. You don't want that. But I see you guys having a conversation this weekend about your relationship. But I don't see it going well. But we do have forgiveness here. So this can indicate that eventually you guys will forgive each other and move on. Or you may be able to just say, you know what? We can't get things together here. And I'm going to gracefully bow out here. I forgive you for what you've done. But I'm not able, you know, to continue. But there is going to be an opportunity for you to um, have a discussion with your person. All right, guys, that's been your weekend reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and I hope that you are getting enough rest and don't party too hard, guys. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll, you know, if I see that you guys are enjoying the, the format of this video, I'll do it again. All right, guys, I'll see you on your next read.